everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up today with day 10 in our Scrappy Advent calendar and also Copa Cut Files, 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files. So day 10, woo! We're getting there, we're chugging along. Uh, don't forget there's 25% off Copa Cut Files for the first 20 days in December. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. Now today's prompt is white background. So pretty broad Lots of scope here. I've got these super cute photos of Tom. Um, he's playing with a fishing game. Now, I think there's a story behind these photos, but I don't, I can't remember 100%. So check out Jess's opening video. I'm sure she'll let you know what's happening in the photos. But I have used the cute fishing line cut file from Copa, obviously. Now, I love this cut file. It's nice and simple. Um, there's a cute fishing line with some hooks as well as some fish and I just thought it would work really well with these photos and obviously white background meant there was a lot of scope to do pretty much whatever I wanted. Um, I am using the All Boy collection, is that what it's called? From Echo Park, Simple Stories, oh dearie me, let's, ah, there's not that much of it left so I probably even can't find it in here to tell you what collection it is because I've pretty much oh here it is I have almost used the whole thing there is not a lot left so it's from Echo Park all boy collection I was right I have a couple of die cuts like I'm talking like three a few puffy stickers and a couple of stickers and that is it so I will get that used up very soon hopefully um, but I have enjoyed um, using this collection. It's a lovely collection. And so I'm basically backing my photos. There's, so there's these three photos of Thomas. I'm basically backing them in lots of scraps. That's all I've got left from the paper perspective. Um, so great for backing cut files, these scraps. But once I've made this layout, to be honest, those scraps are just too small for me to hold on to. And I do end up... Um, recycling them I was gonna say throwing them away which I do but I am recycling them um, I know I could probably have kept them but to be honest I've made a lot of layouts with this collection and I just knew with these scraps of papers it's just was just getting too hard so oh do I maybe make okay sorry it's possible I make one more layout first now that I've said that before I throw this out um, I don't know if I use any paper in that layout though. It is one for Jess, so you will see it come up later in the month. I think much later from memory, like like the 22nd of December or something after the 20 days of cut files have finished. Um, yeah, so there you go. Spoiler alert. I do think I maybe get one more layout out of this. Anyway, hope everyone's well. What are you all doing the 10th of December? Um, I am very behind in filming my voiceovers and I'm actually filming this voiceover on the 9th of December. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to do the rest of the month's voiceovers today though, so um, I'll be all caught up. But yes, I, I was the, the month just has gotten away from me. So you'll know if you watched my opening video that Lincoln was supposed to have surgery on the 1st of December. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't because he got an ear infection. So, you know, it's been a roller coaster. I'm not going to lie. It's been a roller coaster for the start of December. Um, but I've been able to do some fun things as well. It took Lincoln about a week to recover from his ear infection, but we were still able to have a bit of fun, um, get out of the house, go to some parks, that type of thing. Uh, I also got to see Jess and the boys a couple of times. Um, and then in other fun news, I got to go back to my office to work face to face, which I haven't done. Um, oh gosh, I reckon I can count the number of times I have been in my office working uh, for the last two years on like two hands. That's it. It just, we went back very briefly at the start of the year this year, um, but then, or sort of the earlier part of the year, but then we were back into lockdown again. So it has been a long time. Um, so yeah, I've worked two days in the office this week, which is lovely. It was so nice to see people. Um, and I'm really looking forward to finishing the year on a bit of a high. Um, anyway, I should tell you what I'm doing. So I just, this is the next day now. <laughs> um, I basically have decided that I'm going to tear some little um, bits out of the, the sides of my the white background and use that shark pattern paper to sort of peek through from behind. So I sort of decided on three torn edges. I, I had three pieces of that pattern paper, um, you know, 
I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> um, just for a bit of added interest, because this cut file is not uh, a large cut file, there is a lot of white space on this page. Now, I'm okay with that. Um, and I will add some splatters. So that does certainly help with the white space. Uh, but it just, I don't know, I just felt like it needed something else. So yeah, I'm going to add those torn edges just for a little bit of interest, a little bit of texture. Um, plus that pattern paper is super cute with the sharks on and fits with the theme. So we're going with it. Um, and I do add a title up the top as well along that sort of fishing line. So that will help with that white space too. Um, and then I've got this cut file, sorry, it's a one cut file, but there's also a, the piece down the bottom that's all the fish, like the little school of fish. So I am kind of choosing to use that as a sort of anchor for my photos. I just thought it worked really well. And then the little, the fish hooks um, fit really nicely sort of around my photos. At least it was a good cut file choice for these photos, I thought. Um, I think, you know, it works very well. Um, so that's, I'm um, tediously pulling off <laughs> the backings. I use, um, these little square foam dots. They're actually from a cheap shop. Oh, I've got some right here. Uh, what are they called? They're Portercraft adhesive foam mats. You get four sheets. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just from like a cheap, um, $2 shop, reject shop. I don't know what you would call it in other countries, but it's that sort of a, a shop here in Australia. Um, and they have lots of different things, heaps of different things there. Uh, but I found these foam dots there really inexpensive. I think they're about $3 for the pack uh, and just they work well. So I've stocked up. I just went and bought four packs. So that's four packs of four sheets each. So that's 16 sheets of little foam dots. That is going to last me a long time. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Much cheaper than the other ones that I have. I love the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. I really do. That's always been my go-to um, foam dots. And they are lovely. Uh, but they're not as easy to get a hold of when you don't sell Stampin' Up! Um, and so I just grabbed those cheaper ones um, when I saw them. And they've been fab. All right. So I'm sticking down the, the line. Um, the fishing line. Now, this isn't centered. <laughs> I know that. I just was avoiding Thomas's head in that left hand photo because if I moved the cut off kind of further into the middle where it probably aesthetically would have looked a little better, um, it would have been too close to his head. So, yeah, that I know it's not centered. <laughs> um, and I know that I'm not one to measure things. Um, and I would have eyeballed it anyway, but I knew when I was sticking it down that it wasn't in the center. So I just, I'm just acknowledging that up front. I know it's not centered, uh, but it is what it is. I probably could have made the fishing line in silhouette before I cut it out a little bit longer um, so that it went right across the entire page. That probably would have been nice uh, and something that uh, I think probably would have worked well in this case because then it could have span, spanned. I don't think that's the right use of that word. Anyway, could have gone across the entire 12 by 12 length of the page. But anyway, hindsight. Um, so you can see me here, I'm just tearing out the little section, adding a bit of adhesive and then adding my pattern paper underneath um, and then trimming it off because I do make it, I, I stick it up over top of the page. Um, I think I get my cutter, yeah I do. So I get my trimmer out to trim it off just to make sure it's straight. Um, I probably could have used my scissors but it was just as easy to get the trimmer out um, and to line that all up and trim off that excess pattern paper and I just I think it's cute can you tell that they're sharks probably not but they're still cute apologies I'm just sipping my water while I'm doing voiceover very unprofessional of me um, I haven't used my voice much today I have to say because I've been working from home um, and so and I'm by myself so yeah it's a little bit scratchy all right, so you can see me here just playing with the ephemera pieces. Now, I pulled out everything that I had left in this collection that was fishing related. Uh, that's why I use this collection, by the way. I probably didn't say that at the start, but it had some fishing related ephemera and icons and stickers and puffy stickers. Um, so I pulled out everything that was fishing related and I was determined to get it on the page. So there's a lot of sharks. Um, there's a few little pieces that say gone fishing um, and you're jawsome, like as in... Jaws, 
bitch awesome. Anyway, uh, so I'm basically just making it work. I'm making it work with all of the bits that are about fishing um, and they're going on. <laughs> uh, and I also, well, I'm trying to use up the collection as much as I can anyway. So um, I'm trying to stick on as much as I can. However, there's a balance, you know, I don't want to just add everything to a page and, and make it look um, unbalanced. Uh, so, you know, it is a balancing act. Um, I want to make sure I'm using up as much as I can, uh, but I, you know, I don't want it to look too much. Um, so there's this little banner that says boys rock in this collection. Uh, and I decided that actually that might look super cute on this, um, fishing line so I stick it on <laughs> uh, and I just went for it didn't measure anything just went for it so it does fit in between the two um, fish hooks but this is probably where I come back and I say it's it's much more obvious that this isn't in the center because my title now is not in the center and so it is a little annoying I'm not gonna lie it's a little annoying <laughs> but you know it is what it is. It's fine. We'll see if Jess notices on her opening video. So that will be linked in the description box down below, um, Jess's opening video, so you can see her reaction to this layout. I should also say this is part of the Copa 20 Days of Summer and Christmas Cut Files Hop. And there's a lot of people playing along every day and some who are playing along on, on specific days. So everyone that we know who's playing along today will be linked in the description box down below. So go and check out the other's take on the white background. Um, this is my DT layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Even though I am making um, 10 layouts this month for Confessions of a Paper Addict, this one is specifically for the DT. Um, so as will be for the whole 20 days, in the description is also a link to the Copa Cut Files Etsy store. I will link directly to this cut file for you just in case you specifically want this one. But also I will link to the Copa Facebook group because Virginia has four free cut files she's released for Christmas. So if you want them, you have to be in the Facebook group. So definitely come over and hang out with us because it's a fun group to be in. Um, and also Virginia releases at least one free cut file a month. But in special months like Christmas or December, she releases two, which is or four, sorry, which is exciting. So yeah, she sometimes treats us to more than um, one freebie. Now, I'm adding a little bit extra to this title. Um, and I, <laughs> this thicker, so these stickers here, I don't remember what they were, but I made like a whole heap of words out of what was left. Um, and one of the things that I could make out of the thickers was that the words, our son. So the title is our son. The banner underneath does say boys rock, but it's not kind of a subtitle or anything. It just, I'm just using it as more of an embellishment. Just, they're not supposed to go together, if that makes sense. Uh, now I am coming in with some navy Heidi Swap Color Shine and, oh, gold. I think this one's gold. It might be silver. Oh, I'm shaking it far too fast for me to tell in this little screen. Um, but I'm adding my mist. And just to help with that white background, I love a white background, but I do like that it's a little bit broken up. Um, anyway, I am nearly finished. Make sure you check the description box for everything you need to know about the hop and also a link to Confessions of a Paper Addict as well as Jess's opening video. So thank you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.